is a rare opportunity. I did not expect the Emir's daughter to be single and it appears she's very close to her father. Mm. I have to come up with a concrete plan to befriend her. <laughs> so, who even told you that that unfortunate Christian man will want a Alsa Muslim, middle-aged woman like you. Memona, <laughs> you underestimate me. My sister, you underestimate me. Look, the plan is already in motion. By the time I'm done with him, my name will be Anna. Ah! So you want to abandon your faith? Did you get into another fight? Yes! We have heard it all. Every of your your escapades. Eh? I am Mike Tyson. Fighting using your feet to resolve conflicts. Where did you learn to do that? Eh? Don't you know that there are consequences for, 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 for actions like that? My friend, speak up! Yes, I understand that. All these pieces broken. Thank you for giving us the tools of your word and prayers to fight the battles of our sons earth by the power and the blood of Jesus Lord we bring every thought every imagination of your son's heart every emotions of his mind and every deed of his hands and every step that he takes under your lordship I pray in the name of Jesus that your son will love you with all of his heart with all of his mind with all of his soul in Jesus mighty name I pray Amen So Sister Viola Don't be afraid You see many young teenagers Young adults of his age Pass through rebellion time like this But at later in life they realize how much they need God Okay So I will keep you in my prayers And the Lord that we serve We answer our prayers in Jesus name Amen. Thank you sir Amen. So okay. Yes, sir. Don't forget what we discussed. Yes, sir. And I want to see you more active in the youth church. And you know I'll be watching. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. oh Sister Viola, lest I forget. Yes, sir. Uh, when did you say Brother Mecca will be coming back from Australia? Um, Pastor, he actually has three more weeks back. Oh, okay. It is well. May the Lord perfect his works in your family. Amen. Amen. So when he comes, remember to tell him to come see me in the office. When you get back from his trip. I'll sure do that, sir. Thank you so much for seeing us, Pastor. We really appreciate your prayers and your counsel. Oh, glory be to God. Uh, just uh, remind, I mean, remember to tell your husband to see me when he gets back, okay? I'll, I'll sure do that, sir. Okay. You know, the church is counting on you. I know you will do well. It is well with you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, sir. All right.
Hello, sis. I didn't know you were here. Ah. <laughs> David, when did you get back from Nigeria? Actually, I came back on Monday and I've been so busy, so that's why I've not been able to see her. So because of that, you couldn't even think of coming to visit us all this while, knowing fully well that your brother has been traveling for work. David, it's not fair. I, I understand, sis. I'm so, so, so sorry. And actually, I was planning to come over this Sunday after the service. Really? Yes, I, oh, okay. I, I'm planning to let you meet someone. Really? Who? Oh, well, don't worry, sis. It's a special friend. Okay. Okay, I'll well, say you said so. Jokes! You know we do for a talk, right? Yes, yeah, okay. sir. I'll see you on Sunday. Sure. Okay, sis. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you on Sunday, okay? I'll see you. I'll okay. be expecting you. All right, bye. All right. Take care. about dad and how he went and traveled I just I just I didn't know if he traveled for work or if he traveled because or if he left because of me okay my son now why would you think that your dad will never leave because of you your dad is actually out of town he's out of state working on his job project he'll be back soon I can't help but shake the feeling that Dad left me because of everything that happened at school, my fighting and my suspension. Uh, I, I don't want you and Dad to get a divorce. Uh, Mom, I promise I'll change. Okay, my honey, listen to me. There are two important things I want you to understand in life. One, that God loves you. And number two, your dad and I can never and will never stop loving you. Yes, the things you've done lately has been disheartening. It's, it's, it's troubled us. It's been very discouraging. But that would never stop our love for you, eh? We will always love you, son. But, but you and Dad can stop loving each other. Stop loving each other? Why would you say that? Okay. I totally understand and I know you say it. You, you're, you're grown enough to see that. We've lacked, we've argued a lot lately due to lack of communication. You know, and, and, I, and I know you see it, you see how we bicker, how we argue and fight with each other. Maybe that has even affected you. But I want you to know that divorce is absolutely the last thing on our minds. Okay, my son? All we ask is that you get back to the happy place and start behaving yourself. And make yourself happy and we will continue to love you. Okay. Yes, come in. Good day, sir. Oh, brother David, it's good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Sir. Oh, your sister Ella just left this place. Now, did you see her? Oh, yeah, I met them on their way out. So. Oh, so make yourself comfort comfortable. Thank you, sir. How was your trip? It was great. Oh, that's good to know. That was great. Oh, how was the election? Oh, the election was very, very fair and everybody is happy now. And did you bring anything from the north? Oh, I wish, but sorry, Pastor. That's all right. That's all right. We thank God for safety. Lest I forget. What about the business proposal that you were working on? Well, oh, actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm here, sir. Um, I, when I got to Nigeria, the Emir was very, very welcoming and receptive. As a matter of fact, he already, like, okay with our proposal so far, the one that I put together with my friend. Oh, praise the Lord. That is good news, brother David. Let us continue to trust that the Lord will perfect what he has started. Um, so I, I think the Lord already perfected it, sir. So oh, really? Did you get the approval? Uh, uh, actually, before I traveled to Nigeria, I was able to meet with one of the Emir's daughters uh, to pick up some documents for the Emir's. Okay. Well, let's just say 
after the meeting we've become fast friends and uh, I strongly believe that she is my wife. Your wife? How? This lady we're talking about, is she uh, a believer of the word? Or is she born again spirit filled? Um, not yet, Pastor. Or well, I think the Lord is going to use me to bring her to Christ. Brother David, you see, I will implore you to be very careful. You know, I need you to search deep down your heart so that you do not confuse your innermost desires and material motives as God's intention concerning this matter. Look, Pastor, I know what you're thinking and I honestly understand what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians. And at, at the same time, I strongly believe that God can use me to bring any soul to Christ. And does that include marriage? Um, not really, sir. See, look, Brother David. You see, as believers, we are obligated to spread the word of God and win souls for his kingdom. See, if truly your intentions are innocent, concerning bringing this young woman to Christ, then I pray that the Lord will use you for his great work. But, nursing a different agenda outside your calling for your own personal gain is a sin. Well, Pastor, I think I really like this lady. What? You think you like this lady? I thought you just told me that the Lord said she's your wife. Yes, yes, Pastor. I might just have been voicing out what I was feeling. Look, Brother David. You know, Proverbs 31 urges young men to be guided by a woman's faith and her character before you make your choice, right? So marriage is a big decision with lifelong consequences. To move forward, you see, we have to hone up to our choices. Why we made those choices and now to be responsible in the face of them. You see, that applying biblical principles, seeking wise counsel, being deliberate and wise in your choice. Also considering the future and basing your decision on the right priorities is very, very important. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad I came to you for counsel on this matter. And I will see God's face for that. Yeah, it is well. You see, I want you to go back to the book of First Kings 11, verse number 2. And meditate on that passage that says, You shall not go into them, neither shall they come into you. For surely... They will turn away your heart after their gods. Mm. Do you know what the Bible is talking about in that verse? I think that passage is referring to the unbelievers. So I'm glad you know. I pray that the Lord will guide your heart and lead you in the right direction. Amen. Let us pray. Father Lord. decoration. You have really, really good taste, Amina. <laughs> Thank you. Well, unfortunately, I won't be here for long. So. Huh? What do you mean? Are you planning on moving? Nahiwa, won't I go to my husband's house? <sighs> Amina, so you're still on that ungodly plan with that Christian man? <laughs> His name is David, and I don't understand what you mean by ungodly plan. 
What is ungodly about going after what I want? I see what I want and I go after it. Amina. Amina. Mm. I can't wait for this to blow up in your face. Eh? I will be here to remind you and say I told you so and I warned you. <laughs> Quanta, look. Just so you know, I have a date with him on Sunday. I'm going to visit his church on Sunday. Hi, Allah. Hey, that hmm. poor man. Hmm. <laughs> Guess what? That poor man is calling me right now. It's David. Hi, David. <sighs> You're a true son of your father. Hello, Hamina. I hope all is well. Is everything okay? You don't sound cheerful. Yeah, um, actually, I want to sincerely apologize for what I'm about to say. Really? You are a very kind and warm person, and you deserve total honesty. At this point, I don't think it's a good idea for us to pursue any form of relationship outside any possible business dealings that may come from your father. Did I do something wrong? No, 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 no. You'll be very nice and welcoming and I don't want to cause any misconception or give you any wrong impression that I may be not seeing any idea of a possible relationship. Well, I'm disappointed to hear that. I don't want this to discourage you from coming to our church this Sunday and I will go ahead and text you the address right now. No, 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 no. There won't be a need for that. I only wanted to visit your church because of you. I'm not interested in meeting or, or, or knowing your Christ, so that's okay. All right, well, I wish you, I wish you luck. Bye. Hello? Hello? What happened? Hmm? Talk now. The fish that I thought I caught just escaped. Huh? <laughs> ah! That man just dodged a big bullet. Whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? <laughs> Memona, it's not funny. Are you not supposed to be on my side? I'm <laughs> sorry now. I'm on your side. Don't worry, okay? I'll call my husband. He has a lot of friends that will still only have one wife. Being, this, being number two is not that bad now. I like Yakiyashi. God forbid. Ah, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Sit there. God forbid. <laughs> so, what, what really happened? What did he say? Leave Tell me, me the details. Leave me alone. It's not you know, business. I love you now. Eh? You know, I love you. <laughs> you need to get married soon. Leave, leave me alone. alone. Okay. I'll call my husband. Don't worry. Please speak this. Way.